Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive moveset guide for VGC. Now, with Sword and Shield just coming out, I expect a lot of you guys to be new to competitive and wanting to learn a lot about it. So if you guys want to learn about competitive, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, subscribe, watch my other competitive moveset guide videos. I'd really appreciate it. It, hel it helps me grow, and my main goal with this channel is to teach people competitive Pokemon. So I'd really appreciate the support on that. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours with some more moveset guide videos. Uh, now this, speaking of scratching each other's backs, this is a moveset guide that a viewer requested. They wanted to learn more about Scorch. Now, because the VGC meta has not developed pretty much at all, um, a lot of this is based off of predictions from past seasons as to how Pokemon were run and what Pokemon were viable. And with the limited decks, uh, a lot of lower tier Pokemon can shine now. So that's really, really cool. Scorch might be one of these. I expect it to be mid-tier at best in VGC, to be completely honest. But it is still a pretty cool Pokemon. It's the uh, rare bug fire typing. It only shares that with uh, Volcarona, I believe. And Volcarona was a fast special attacker, where this kind of falls short of that legacy. It is a bulky, slow physical attacker. And with such a frail typing like uh, bug fire, it's going to be susceptible to dying to things like Rock Slide, Brave Bird... Uh, Hydro Pump Scald, it's very, very susceptible to dying to those moves very early on in the game. So it's the type of Pokemon that needs to be supported, but can also work as a support Pokemon in certain rare instances. So let's go over these three sets that I have prepared for you guys. If you guys uh, enjoy this at any point in time, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And I'm going to be going over these in what I believe is the order of most effective to least effective, but I still recommend trying out all these at least once and seeing which one best suits your team. So the first set that we're going to be taking a look at is Choice Scarf, Choice Band. It's a very simple spread, 4 HP, 252 attack, 252 speed with the Jolly Nature. We're going to be running Flare Blitz, Leech Life, Knock Off, Power Whip with the White Smoke ability. Now, Senta Scorch is really cool uh, with its abilities. It's Well, I mean, it's a fire type, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, it's got White Smoke... Flame Body, and Flash Fire. Now, we probably won't be using Flash Fire all that often because while it does grant us a fire immunity, uh, we benefit a lot more from White Smoke being a physical attacker. Uh, it's pretty much just Clear Body. We can't have our stats lowered, which is really, really important to being an effective physical attacker. Uh, older Pokemon like Metagross and Solgaleo have been known to be have been known for being very threatening physical attackers because of the sheer fact that you cannot intimidate them. Now this Pokemon has another thing up its sleeve. You can't intimidate it, and because it's a fire type, it cannot be burned. There is literally no way to lower this Pokemon's physical attack stat short of skill swapping and then intimidating, or worry seeding and then intimidating. So that's really cool. That's a very, very uncommon thing for a Pokemon to have. I think this might be the only one actually. but. It's, it's really cool. Uh, this first set takes full advantage of that. Uh, with the Choice Scarf or the Choice Band, um, Choice Scarf is probably be more common because you want to take advantage of your speed as much as you can and compensate for that low natural speed stat. Flare Blitz is going to be doing massive damage coming off of 120 base power with that 115 base attack stat and stab. It has the chance to burn and you'll be taking a bit of recoil, but uh, with 100 HP, that's actually a really high HP stat for Pokemon, really. Uh, they tend to sit around 80 to 90, really, for most Pokemon that aren't intended to be very, very bulky and stally. So you won't be taking too much percentage because of that. Uh, Leech Life is really nice recovery, though, in case you decide to uh, go for a Bug-type stab move and try to get some of your health back. Knockoff is really nice coverage that this Pokemon gets. There is literally nothing that wants to switch into a knockoff because just about every Pokemon is holding an item and can get that item removed from them. Knockoff being a 65 base power move seems pretty underwhelming, but when you take into account the fact that if you knock off an item, one, you remove an item from a Pokemon, which is big in itself, um, and two, it gets a 50% damage boost, bringing it up to around 97 or 98 base power. Power Whip is also really cool coverage. Uh, if a water type decides to come in and try to counter your Senta Scorch, you'll be able to go for this Power Whip and deal massive damage because it's a 120 base power uh, grass type move with a high critical hit ratio, if I remember correctly. So yeah, uh, Choice Band, you could try running an Adamant Nature if you go with the Choice Band, but personally, I believe that Jolly is the best because it's going to be really hard to outspeed things without that extra little oomph to your speed stat. So that's a really cool set that I could think of for uh, Scent of Scorch. Uh, just pure offensive is going to be really hard to stop. You could also try this set 
with like max max hp uh max attack on a trick room set uh with like very little speed and a brave nature so that, that's another way to run it but they're essentially the same set i just decided that uh, I might as well make it max speed so I can throw on the choice scarf uh, onto this slide as well. Uh, but for the next set, we have this adamant natured bulky coil Santa Scorch. Now, having 100 HP and 65 defense means that you can take like one physical attack and then drop. You're not going to die immediately because of your high HP stat. Uh, 90 special defense is really, really good with that 100 HP. I think that's slightly bulkier than Incineroar because Incineroar had. I believe 95 HP and uh, 90 special defense or 85 or something. So you're bulkier than Incineroar on the special side. Um, and that's also gonna help you switch into Moonblast too. You already resist it, but uh, a lot of fairy types in this generation are special attackers. So you can eat those hits really, really easily. Where you're really lacking is that physical defense side. So this set tries to make up for that while also making you a really threatening physical attacker. White Smoke makes it so they can not lower your stat changes. So by pairing this, by pairing Coil up with Fire Lash, Leech Life, and Protect, you're able to boost your attack, your defense, and your accuracy. While accuracy is kind of negligible with this move set because we don't have any moves that can miss really, um, it's going to make it so you're going to be eating physical hits and recovering that off with either leftovers or a figgy berry, while also dishing out major damage and recovering even more health with with Leech Life. So honestly, a really fun set that I want to try out on a team. Uh, I'd say that this set requires you to run either a wide guard user, a fake out user, or an intimidate user. One Pokemon that comes to mind that has all those is Scrafty, not Scrafty, uh, Hit on Top. However, Scrafty would also work because it gets intimidate and fake out. So it would allow you to get at least one of these coils off pretty much for free and make it easier to live those rock type attacks. And yeah. Uh, yeah, your time's four weak to rock, so it's really, really tough for this guy to live it. But if you can really beef up that defense stat and maybe get Intimidate off, it'll be a bit easier to live those hits and uh, just dish out major damage back. You could try this on a Trick Room team too. Uh, because you have such low speed, you would be faster than your opponents and deal huge damage. But I digress. It's going to be a really fun set for people to try out, and I hope that you guys check it out. This last set is actually a little bit meme but I feel like you might be able to make it work on a Trick Room team. This is the Support Santa Scorch set. Now, I already said that it isn't that bulky on the physical side, so we're going to try to beef that up as much as possible and compensate for it, almost like how Combine Reuniclus would run a lot of physical defense since you're boosting your special defense. Unfortunately, we, won't, we can't boost our special defense at all, uh, but we can sort of make up for it in other ways. This set uses the Flame Body ability, so if you switch in on a Fake Out or a Physical Attack, you might be able to burn your opponent. Uh, you have 252 HP, 252 Defense, 4 Special Defense with a Relaxed Nature. Its moveset is Fire Lash to lower defense stats, Struggle Bug to lower the Special Attack stats of both opposing Pokemon, and Lunge or Will-O-Wisp to lower attack stats. Uh, Will-O-Wisp will allow you to get a burn off on whatever you want, and Lunge will allow you to deal Bug-type stab damage while also lowering the attack stat of whatever you hit. Protect is just there because once again, even though we're very, very physically bulky, uh, we do not want to take any rock type or flying type moves before uh, we get any intimidates or burns off. So uh, the item on this set is going to be leftovers or figgy berry for pretty much the same set as the uh, coil set, uh, or for pretty much the same reason as the coil set, because it'll help you recover a bit of damage off at the end of each turn. And if you manage to start lowering everything's attack stat, you're going to take hits like a champ. It's going to be a really fun Pokemon to use. But yeah, uh, once again, in order of viability, I'd say that it would have to go uh, Choice Scarf, Choice Band, uh, Leftovers, Figure Berry, Coil, and then finally this, uh, whatever I'd call this, this Mimi Relaxed Nature set. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think about Scorch in the comment section down below. I really want to know what your guys' takes are on it. If you guys have a Pokemon that you want me to use or you want me to make a moveset video on, uh, let me know in the comment section down below as well. I'm going to be trying to get some ranked doubles out for you guys soon. Uh, I'll do some showdown in the meantime if they put the VGC ladder up, but right now it's not up. So, yeah. In fact, uh, if you guys want to see me prepare for... Uh, VGC this season you can go ahead and check out my twitch channel at 7 p.m. Central time uh, Tonight I'm gonna be live streaming myself breeding and EV training my uh, Rain offense team that I've been working on for the past couple of days but Yeah, uh, also check out my social media my discord channel everything all that is linked in the comment section down below In fact, I would really appreciate it if you join my discord channel because we're trying to get some people in there who are doing raids 
who are breeding, training, and wanting to get some best of threes in. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.